Hello everybody. I have another video for you guys. Uh, this, this one is not one where I'm going to be at work showing you a system with 256 gigs of memory or 48 CPU cores like the systems I work on, but rather uh, I have this really old EPC here that somebody at work uh, gave me basically and I'm allowed to use it forever I want. So I decided what I'd do is I'd do a little bit of a test between running Linux and Windows on this thing to see how each of them runs and each of them compares to one another. Here are the nice juicy specs. We've got an Intel Atom 1.66 gigahertz. Um, I think it's a single core hyperthreaded. We have 1,024 megabytes of memory. I don't know what kind of memory it is. And it has a 160 gigabyte hard drive. I can tell from that model number right there. So it's really nothing juicy at all. I can hear the hard drive scratching a little bit when it runs. So we're going to go ahead and test running Xubuntu versus Windows 7. So I have Xubuntu on it right now, um, and I'll just do a quick boot up test. There we have it. So now I enter my password. So yeah, obviously this isn't really the fastest thing in the world. But I remember at my high school, uh, we had some netbook style PCs. I think they had Intel Atoms and a couple gigs of memory. And they had Windows 7 on them. It would take literally half an hour to 45 minutes to log in. It's absolutely awful. All right, so it's all logged in. And let's see how long it takes to launch Firefox. Wow. <laughs> Took a little while. So I have this program called HTOP installed. It's very useful. It's kind of like the top uh, program, rather the program called Top on Linux, but it's a little bit more extensive. So right now, as we can see, we've got two CPU cores. We're using about, geez, 100% of one of those CPU cores. Uh, we're currently using about 274 megs of the one gigabyte, so I would say about, yeah, 275 megs. Another swap space, which is basically just, you know, um, when the system doesn't have enough memory needs to virtualize some disk, disk space as memory. So, actually, now that we're idling, it's really not too bad in the CPU. So that's basically it for Xubuntu. I mean, it's not a whole lot to do. I mean, Linux usually is just kind of using the terminal and doing whatever you have to do, the programming, whatever else. Um, I'll, do, I'll do a shutdown test to see how long that takes. And then it'll be time for Windows. Damn, that was fast. Okay, so I have a multi OS installer here with a little USB that I have. I'm going to go ahead and launch the Windows 7 setup. The reason I didn't show the Xubuntu setup was because I did that a long time ago before I even planned doing the video. Okay, well, I forgot. Um, it doesn't support 64 bit basically. So I need to go ahead and find a 32 bit installer for Windows. Okay, so I went ahead and downloaded a Windows 7 x86 ISO, but I accidentally downloaded it in Dutch. Um, <laughs> I don't remember having any choice for language, but I guess it's in Dutch, so this is probably going to take a while, um, but I guess I'll just be able to power through it because I know Windows well enough. <laughs> Alrighty, so I put Windows 7 x86 on. Let's see how fast that boots up. Didn't take that long to get it installed. Uh, I think a little bit longer than Xubuntu, but not by that much.
Okay, not too bad. I don't have Firefox, so let's see how long it takes to load up Internet Explorer. Uh, that was actually very fast. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> I haven't changed the language to English, so I still don't know what the hell I'm clicking. So we can see that we're using most of the memory. Xubuntu is using about 200 and what was it, 80 megabytes. This guy's using, oh, it dipped down a little bit, 410, but it was using uh, almost 800 at one point there. The CPU usage is pretty low as well, so this thing is actually performing much better than I thought it would, both for Xubuntu and especially for Windows. I expect it to perform much, much worse for Windows, because Windows is usually not so lightweight. Um, but it's actually doing quite nicely, so I'm impressed. I could almost use this as an actual PC, but I feel kind of dumb because there's really no reason to do that. Um, so how quickly it shuts off. And uh, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, I think. It kind of goes to show that um, a common theme of a lot of my videos is that old technology is not necessarily completely obsolete, and that really supports that conclusion. I think this laptop is six or seven years old, but it's really, you, you can still do something with it. It's not horribly, horribly slow. So I found that a little bit interesting. I was especially surprised by the fact that Windows wasn't a brick to try and run. So as always, thank you all for watching. Um, this is a quick little weird video of mine. Um, I hope to see you in my future videos.